Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Kai Westcote, and today we're going to be talking with Trip Foreman about the JS Schooner. Trip, you're not Trip. You're I'm Kai. Oh, yeah. We blew it. Man. Can we start again? Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we have real team rider Kai Westcote with us, and we're going to be talking about the JS Schooner. Kai, the JS Schooner, this is a Mikey Wright Pro Model, right? Yeah, it is. And what size? Uh, what size are you riding? I'm riding a five nine by uh, eighteen and a half by two and three eighths. What's the float on that? How many liters? We got twenty six liters, so it's kind of like a good wave board, barrel board. And, ju and just to give people like uh, like a comparison, what's like your height and your weight? So I'm like five nine, five ten by one forty, and. I kind of stay around the 25 to 25.5 liter range. And um, just feeling this out, it felt really good and the, the liters matched up, like the width and the uh, thickness. So I, I just went for it and it felt really good. So you're riding this like a half a liter, maybe a liter yeah. more than your short part, than like your standard short part? Yeah. Okay, and why why are you going up in the in the volume? Like, so like what, you so you said you're riding this thing in better waves? Yeah, I'm riding it in better waves. It's real thinned out in the rails and it's, um, I don't know, it really hides its volume. It doesn't feel like all chunky and too big. It just, it feels really good. Right. And yeah, it was like maybe going up like a half a liter would feel really good and it did. So, I mean, I think like when a lot of people look at this board, they look at the, uh, I think the first thing that grabs people is the outline. You know, mm -hmm. like how like how the wide points like push further forward. But But I think you're right, like, when when you look at this thing it is really like even though it's like wide point forward and and the foam is like is is here and here in the middle of the board like it's not on the rails like looking at how like pulled down these rails are they're like really refined how does this thing feel i mean you've ridden a bunch of boards kind of like in this range kind of like one up from a short board like i don't know like you've ridden like a paizo ghost you've ridden uh uh, AJW, like uh, OG potato launcher, like how does this thing compare to, to those boards? The one thing about it is, you know, it, it's it's loose. You know, it's right? got the thruster. It's if It can rip a turn, you know? In that realm, it's just, it doesn't hold back. It's like, it's good in the barrel. Right. It holds. Yeah, I feel like it's almost like, if there's a, if it's a day and it's like, kind of more sections for turns, like I'd take that out. Because you think this is like better all around? Like because he could do two turns so, on yeah. it, and that's I don't know. That's like kind of that's awesome to hear because I mean I think when a lot of people look at like wide point push really far forward and like a drawn out tail, mm -hmm. they don't think loose. Like they think like oh that thing's going to be super stable and like really confident. So it's cool to hear the uh, the range on it. And then I think the other thing worth like touching on is like you're riding it like a half a liter or a liter more like for better waves. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then you guys just went on that trip, right? Like up to New England? Yeah. And that was in like, how cold was the water up there? Like, I'd say 38. Oh, it is pretty, it's pretty gnarly. And so why don't you talk with us about the difference between like our cold and their cold? Because everybody yeah. here is like, oh, it's like, it's in the 40s, it's cold. Like, so tell yeah. us the difference between like 44 and 38. It's like, it's like nothing I've ever felt really. It's just kind of like a, it hurts your whole body and, and yeah, the, it's uh, it's not cold here. <laughs> it's not, it's like tropical cold. It's like, yeah. it's like, we have destination cold. We yeah. don't have actual cold. Yeah. We have like a place where you could shoot cold water looking wetsuits mm -hmm. and make it look cold, <laughs> but we don't have the actual cold yeah. here. So. Um, I was noticing on your fins, you got uh, medium Merrix in here, FCS, and I'm noticing uh, all of the, the damage yep. on, the, on the tips of the fins. What's, what's that? Because obviously when you're up in New England, they didn't have a sand bottom, right? Yeah, they did not have a sand bottom. I'm not used to uh, getting washed up on rocks. Was, the fins took most of the damage. Not, well, yeah, luckily it was the fins and not the board, right? <laughs> Actually, the board still looks in really, yeah. in really good shape. And... Uh, so, I mean, you're talking about like bumping up a little bit in the foam and, uh, but the, you know, the other thing that this board does, you don't have to go like a ton bigger than your short board because it also pushes a lot of the foam to the right place, right? So yeah. like, rather than having the foam like from the nose all the way to the tail, it, it actually just pushes what foam it has like more underneath your chest, like where you need it to get into the waves and then less underneath your back foot where, where you don't need it. 
since the wave's already got juice. Yep. And then what about, uh, like, I know you've been riding mostly thruster, and then you started, like, playing around with some quads, and then this board didn't even give you the option, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just dedicated thruster. How did you like this thing? I mean, you already talked about the turns, and then, like, so what about, like, what about for barrels and stuff? Like, how did you like this thing for the thruster? Like, were you coming off a of quad, and then all of a sudden you're, like, back on a thruster again? Yeah, it's a, it's a different thing. It's, like, I'm kind of... I'm kind of sold on quads now. Like, if it had a quad option, I think I would throw in it, throw right. it in if it was like real top to bottom. But I don't know. It's just like kind of what I like it for is the, it's real loose, goes off, off the bottom up top real good. Right. It works. It works. Dude. It works exactly. The uh, and then so what? Uh, if you're going on a trip like that New England trip that you just did, and you're going, if I remember, you went with your sub driver? What yeah. short board did you go with? My sub driver. Sub driver. Okay, so you went with your sub driver and this, like your two yeah. board kind of like travel quiver. Uh, when did you switch out, like kind of what size or shape waves were you like switching over between those two boards? It's kind of crazy. I, n I never rode my sub driver. The whole time? The whole time. Uh, and then so how small of a wave did you ride this in? Um, we were at this one like punchy beach break that was like chest high just yeah. really fun rippable and it was kind of barreling in the morning and top to bottom but right. i just didn't want to get off it and then what was the biggest wave that you rode it in probably the first day it was pretty solid and how big was it like the on the face it was it was definitely overhead yeah but uh, thick though right thick definitely like thick. so over overhead high by double overhead thick or something yeah was, there's a couple couple Square. really good ones coming in cool and um, would you put this board in the bussing category? Oh, it's bussing. Is it bussing for sure? <laughs> awesome. Well, that is the JS Schooner, uh, Mikey Wright Pro model. If uh, and straight from Kai Westcoat is who's ripping on it. He claims it's bussing. If any of you out there have any questions on the JS Schooner or would like to place an order for one, either in stock or custom order, you can always call us at the shop. 252-987-6000 or look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.